Hi everyone! If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If not, welcome back. My name is Hazel and today we are going to do a get ready with me while I talk about my experience with social media. If you're interested in knowing what I have to say, then keep watching! <laughs> barbecue today and I decided to show you how I'm gonna get ready so I've just come out the shower as you can see my hair is wet I washed it and I'm currently waiting for this face mask to dry so the first thing I'm gonna do is my hair and the first thing I'm gonna talk about that I learned from social media is nobody's who you think they are you know everybody puts the best version of themselves on social media it's sort of just natural habit even i do if you were to look at me at home who i am with my friends it's totally different to who i am on social media of course some people do try to maintain a certain level of genuity on their social media platforms but that does not apply to everybody you know a lot of people photoshop their content to make it look good and perfect even though in person it isn't that good and obviously when you're scrolling through instagram you're not going to remember these things you know you're probably going to look at a pretty girl on your explore page and think oh she looks good you know i wish i looked like her my honey no just trust me you two are probably the same so yeah first thing nobody's who you think they are second thing i learned from social media is success is hard and i don't mean just one type of success i mean all kinds you know you look at someone with 50,000 followers i'm willing to bet that they didn't get 50,000 followers overnight so whether you're a rocket scientist or an instagram model whatever you are i'm pretty sure that if somebody's you know got like big success global success however you want to measure it because success can be measured in so many different ways i'm willing to bet that it was not easy no matter what it is even if you think it's not important it's important to them and i'm pretty sure they found it hard take it from someone who's on youtube if i ever do grow to a substantial amount of subscribers y'all watching this video right now you can go and look at how many subscribers i have now how many views i have on my content and you know for a fact that it's not easy so just be a little kinder you know just because something doesn't apply to you or isn't in your best interest it doesn't mean that you should just write it off completely the next thing that social media taught me is that a lot of things are repetitive now what i mean is I'm pretty sure if you had a dollar for every time you saw a pretty Instagram model on your explore page with the same aesthetic, you'd be a millionaire by now. You know, what I'm trying to say is things will happen over and over and over again and that's just the way it is. There's 7 billion people in the world. You will never be the only person doing something. I am not the only Malawian YouTuber out there. Kendall Jenner is not the only model in the world. There are so many things. So, you know, when you're about to start a venture of some sort and you think, oh, what are people going to think? Oh, they're going to think I'm copying them. No. No, child. You you do you. And if if they accuse you of something, you just point a finger to like the one, the one million other people in the world doing the exact same thing as you. Okay? So things are repetitive and that's just how it's going to be. If some of y'all are going to think I'm copying somebody's style or somebody else you know is copying somebody's style, then let it be because there is only so many things you can do in the world in so many different ways. So if we learn to appreciate that it's okay to do what somebody else is doing, then I think the world will be just a little bit easier to live in the next thing we're going to talk about is that social media is unhealthy obviously that isn't new to anyone the gross stereotypes that we have on there how unattainable perfection makes us feel we all know what that's like it's nothing new but 
I just wanted to put it out there and say when you are on these apps, just I know it's hard, but just don't don't compare yourself. Don't do it. And I'm saying this, but I compare myself all the time, you know, to my friends, to celebrities, to people in the same industry as me. No matter what I'm doing, it's gonna happen. But if we can limit how much it happens, then I think we're gonna be a lot more happier with ourselves. So just take note of that when you're on social media. Social media is there for entertainment. It does not define the level of success in your life. And you need to remember that. The next thing I want to talk about is that social media is healthy. Now, I know you're gonna look at me and be like, wait, what? But you just said, I know what I just said. That's the thing. It honestly depends on what you choose to take out of your experience on social media. So as unhealthy as it can be, social media can be very healthy as well. Sorry, I'm using Instagram because it's my most used app, so it's what I can relate to the most but I can't count how many times I've been on the explore page and found a wholesome meme you know or just some sort of quote that made me feel good or you know those little like Instagram reels of like couples doing something romantic you know it makes you okay unless you're like a pessimist and you look at those couples and you're like, oh, that's never gonna be me, blah, 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 I'm lonely. Unless, unless that's you, then it's not gonna make you feel good. But like, for people who can appreciate things without envying it, then it's definitely, it just, sometimes it just reminds you that even if you're in a bad place or even if you've experienced bad things, there are still good people in the world. The sixth thing that I've learned on social media is that it's full of opportunities. What I mean by this is I cannot count the amount of times I've had somebody text me on Instagram about a business opportunity or it's, it's full of opportunity really and truly. Whether that's like I said, business opportunities or whether it's exposure for whatever you're doing whether that be a youtube channel or just exposure of your instagram account if you just want to be if you want to be an instagram model or just instagram famous like with with no string, strings attached it's you can meet so many people on there whether that be just new friends and i know that it's dangerous so don't don't do that i'm not saying go and make friends on instagram but sometimes you're lucky enough to meet genuine people on the internet and I just think that that's something we should take a minute to appreciate. You know, it's the subtleties within the world. And we often just forget about these things when really I think we should celebrate them more, you know? Because no matter what era we're in, there's always going to be negatives and positives to everything. And some of the positives sometimes I know can be like less visible, but like if we take the time out our day, to really think about it then we will realize that they're there you know sometimes you just gotta really look the seventh thing i've learned from social media is to just keep going no matter what and i don't know i feel like there really isn't much to that statement sometimes things are hard right but you look at all these successful people and i'm willing to bet that as much as some of them got their fame or riches handed to them most of them probably didn't most of them probably had to work for what they have now and that's just to say that no matter where you are or what you're going through you know it's okay to take breaks i'm not saying like grind super hard and you know don't take breaks i just mean that if you really want to do something then don't give up on it when you look at successful people online whether that be millionaires or just people with lots of followers or whatever it is really don't look at it as something to give you anxiety rather look at it as something to motivate you you know this is gonna be really cliche i don't like talking about this but i feel like some of the most 
successful people in our lifetime are the Kardashians. Now, irrespective of how they got that fame, whether that be a sex tape or whatever, you can't deny that they are successful, you know, whether you like it or not, whether they are your cup of tea or not, they are successful. And as much as my routes to success and their routes to success are going to be totally different, seeing how successful they are just puts me in a position to say, well, if they could do it, then so can I. What's stopping me from doing it, you know? And I know that in our, like where I live in Malawi, for the international viewers, I live in Malawi. I feel like in Malawi, third world country, it's very easy to get demotivated and to just not want to do things or give up really easy, depending on what kind of company you're around. I just want to tell you to keep going. I mean, look at me. I'm barely anywhere. Okay, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm not going to disrespect the subscribers and, and the, the likes and views that I have, but I'm at the very bottom. But and I have friends or I have people that I know in my country or in my city who are doing way better than me on YouTube. But I'm not going to let that stop me from keeping going. It's just like I said, if they can do it, if somebody that literally lives 10 minutes away from my house can do it, if someone I went to school with can do it, then why can't I? So, and you know, in a third world country as well, where there's like little to no development, it seems almost crazy to want to pursue dreams like being a successful YouTuber. I get it, but in a generation full of people that aren't motivated to do anything creative, if I don't dare to dream, then who will? That something's gotta come out of our generation, you know, from our country. It can't always be about everybody else. And in that regard, I'm gonna keep trying to make a name for myself and hopefully it won't just be over entertaining a YouTube channel like this. Hopefully one day I'm gonna really make an impact on the world with something meaningful and something that's gonna help us. But this is just the platform, I guess, that I'm gonna start with because there's not much well but there are some things I can do but this is what I feel comfortable starting with where I am in my life and this is what I'm gonna go ahead and do so to everybody else out there just keep doing you sis keep doing you bro I swear it's gonna pay off so the next thing we're gonna talk about and I don't think I feel like a lot of you guys won't like this is that if you do want to be successful on social media quality is key and just the basic principle of if you want to get something good out of another thing then you definitely have to invest in it put quality in to be able to get quality out for social media specifically you know if you're trying to like really be out there and get some traction on the net then you've got to have cam quality good captions instagram posts and that has to do with poses and you know what you're wearing and the kind of attitude and energy that you're exuding from your page even your instagram handle is important now i'm gonna be contradictory in saying this but it's definitely good to have a handle that's easy to read because you know that if you had a handle like mine like my previous one if they see a good picture of you and they're like oh this girl's post you know they look nice oh what's her handle and say for example you don't even have your phone to show them and for you to even try and remember or to even spell their handle it's gonna be like well you know I don't know so yeah small things like handles captions they really do matter you know quality is key if you're trying to like get their quality is key sometimes we might not have the money to be at the best quality that we want to be but you just i don't know you gotta start from somewhere you just have to figure it out if you want it bad enough you will figure it out so my hair is mostly done i'm just gonna i'm probably gonna put like a head turban over it and do my edges i'm just gonna go really simple with this um next i'm gonna move on to my face so i'm just gonna wash all this off and i'll be right back okay so a little update my phone went crazy i filmed the last part of the video and it just it just went off so the footage is lost i'm hoping this time it doesn't get lost again 
but I had two more statements to talk about you know what I learned on Instagram so I'm, I'm just gonna talk about it again and yeah so the first thing I was talking about is to be grateful no matter where you are because there's always gonna be somebody better than you and somebody worse than you so I feel like the best thing is to just be grateful for where you are in your personal journey we are not all the same and the ways that we're gonna get to our success will not be the same and our levels of success will not be the same either and I feel like we have to appreciate that and appreciate ourselves for how far we've come on our own and I know I've already said it don't compare yourself because you're just gonna make yourself feel bad but yeah just be grateful for where you are coming from me when I got my first 1,000 followers I was ecstatic like I didn't even know what to make of it because at the time I didn't set any goals for how many followers I wanted to have I wasn't looking at you know oh I have YouTube let me expand my Instagram following so I could attract more subscribers I, I never looked at any of that I was just on Instagram for the entertainment same as everybody else but when I got my first 1,000 followers I was like that was it for me like I never thought I would have gone you know that far with my page the same thing when I got 2,000 followers it was still pretty surreal like what like did that just happen you know so just be grateful for where you are and if you work hard enough then you can always improve on what you're doing that's if you want to improve if you're satisfied with where you are then all the better you know and the second thing i wanted to talk about was that we are saved and unsaved now my friends will tell you i'm not the most religious person but i have a fair share of my understanding of you know that part of our lives in today's world and let me just say there are two sides to the coin you know sometimes you'll be on instagram and you'll see these pages and you know the aesthetic is literally just that's what they are and i'm not saying that that means that they're ungodly but you know some of those might be like spam booty pic pages or stuff like this you know what i'm saying and that's just one part of it at the same time i'm sure if you follow me on instagram then you can attest to this is that there are also so many godly things on instagram i'm sure that if you look at my instagram stories you'll agree with me i'm always post bible jokes and stuff like this and stuff like that so that just goes to show that even though a lot of stuff has gone to shit there's still positive parts to look forward to you know what i'm saying it just really depends on you and what side you choose to pick you know i'm not gonna be biased or anything and, and just because i'm godly that you should be godly it's honestly not my choice but just don't be an extremist well this is my advice you can take it or leave it but I don't think we should be extremists and just declare that Instagram is completely bad or YouTube is completely bad. There's always going to be two sides to the story and I feel like that's something we need to understand. And yeah, that's pretty much all I had for you. You know, at first when I was writing these things down, I literally thought it wouldn't be enough. I was like, what? 10 points? What is that going to do? Is that going to be enough for conversation? But I'm pretty sure this video is 15 to 20 minutes so yeah i just i hope you enjoyed the content i didn't really mean for it to be an advice kind of video but you know that's how it turned out and not matter that if it's helping somebody out there all the better let me know what kind of videos you want to see yeah so i'm getting ready to go to my friend's 18th birthday barbecue so i'm probably gonna put pictures at the end of the video of how it went or videos and to show you the final look like when when i go outside but like in this lighting this is how it is now i'm just gonna put the final touches on my look we've got some jewelry in this little okay so oh actually i forgot one crucial part of the makeup i'm just gonna do that now but while i'm doing this you know i honestly was very skeptical about doing a get ready with me video because 
and it might not be important to you but i feel like these videos are very vulnerable i think it makes you open up to your viewers in such a way that i've built my page in the light that the way i look is perfect for my standards you know and here i am courageously sitting in front of you guys without makeup showing you my entire process and how i get to how i look and it's just it's very scary because you know makeup is makeup it makes us look better and whatever else but that being said there are still a lot of people out there that are just very negative towards makeup and i'd hate to be in a situation where somebody's looking at me before the makeup and after and they're like oh catfish what 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 and like most of my friends for the ones that have met me in person usually on the first meeting like if we followed each other on instagram before and then we met in person and we recognized each other i'm always asking them do you think i'm a catfish you know what i'm saying because the last thing i want to do is look a certain type of way on camera and then you meet me in person and it's like whoa that is not that is not the chick that i've been following you know what i'm saying so it was very i wouldn't say i was anxious because i, I was gonna do it anyway you know all the greats get to a point where they do get ready with me on their instagram channel so i was like you know what it's it's do or die and you know if you made it this far into the video and you still have positive energy towards me, then I'm all the grateful for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know what I signed up for when I started this channel and being a girl that's into makeup and aesthetics, then this is definitely what I was gonna be doing. So yeah, I just, just wanted you to know this is definitely a big step for me. And yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna continue doing my jewelry off camera and i'll show you the final look when i'm done okay here you go guys this is the final look i actually my eye is red because i got some concealer in there but it's fine um yeah i did my hair i did like a little turban and this is this is pretty much this is it thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it um yeah see you again next time